Welcome to Aviatife, a free career add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is the first of a series of videos to help you get started and answer a few questions as you progress with your airline. My name is Open Darkwing, and let's get started. A disclaimer to start with, Aviatife is an alpha software and changes are always happening. Aviatife is also web-based for management with a small downloaded client to communicate with the game. More on that in a little bit. If you have any more questions after watching these videos, the Discord is full of people who love helping you out. If you have more questions, please feel free to join us. So, let's get started with registering with a new account. Choosing your starting base location. It says to choose wisely, you can bankrupt this game, so analyze all costs carefully. Each airport has different fees for landing and parking of aircraft. While you do pick a starting airport, you do not have to remain in that airport or in that area. You will be given and always have the opportunity to move, rent buildings, and build your airline from anywhere, even after you start. The colors of the airports, as you see here, also have a certain meaning. You have a blue for the larger airports, but top 10% country-wise. If we do a search for here, we can see that we have Fort Wayne International, which is lower landing costs a little bit. But it is an airport, the dark green airport with ILS, lights, and a hard surface runway. As you see here, you have light green, which is an airport with a lights and a hard surface runway, but do not have ILS. You have yellow, which is an airport with a hard surface runway, but no lights. Light red, which is an airport with lights and a soft surface runway. And the dark red, which is an airport with neither lights nor a hard surface runway. So as we decide where we're going to start, we'll go ahead and start at my home airport at KFWA. And we choose that airport. Once you've selected your airport, you can fill out the account details as seen here. Your email address, your password, obviously. Your nickname is how you'll be referred to within the game. Your airline name is obviously the name of your airline that you are creating. Your airline identification code is used much like the real airline counterparts. So we'll run our nickname, which we'll just do open dark YT because we are going to go ahead and this is for this open dark yt air and we will call this odyt accept our terms and conditions once we figure this out we go ahead and click create the account once we are here we can see a few things starting off up here at the top we can see that we have our airline co or airline name our pilot we are a student pilot and as you fly more hours you move up the ranks of the pilots we have our current location of where we are right now we have the date and time in zulu avia tokens which we'll cover later on our starting money however to get started we want to go down here to client once you're here, you click download to download the game client and you run it and you take this code. It's blanked out on the screen here, but that is just for security reasons. You would copy that code and you would paste it into the client here. Once the game is running, you would then click connect. And it can a connection with the game service has been established. This is the go between between the website and the game itself. The game has to be running and at a minimum be at the main screen of the game. Once we have done this, we will move on to taking our first flight and going through the job options. 
Until that video, you guys have a wonderful day, and we will see you all in the next video. Thank you.